What's going on guys? Today I bought the cheapest bow I could find on Amazon. Let's figure out if it's worth it. This here is the box it came in. Um, it's not in the best of shape, but I ordered it through Amazon and you know how the mail service gets. This is an aluminum riser takedown bow, so uh, let's get into it. Alrighty, and here it is, and let's crack right into this bad boy. Top archery, here's the string, and looks like it's going to be an elevated rest. Um, but it looks not a Flemish twist. It is actually just, I would say, a B D97 or a B55 string. Um, comes with a stringer, your two limbs, and the riser comes in this pretty little packet here. Honestly, it's got a nice handle on it. It's got a spot for a stabilizer hole to where you can see they screwed up on the paint. Uh, it actually looks quite nice. It's got holes to put sights in. It's got the hole for the elevated wrist. You could also shoot on the shelf. And it's got where you attach the limbs. I'm gonna get this thing put together. We'll see what we got. Here is the riser to where the limbs attach to. Looks like it's just got bolts with an allen head screw. To identify the limbs, it has an A on this one, and it has a B on this one. So A is the upper limb, B is the lower limb. This is your first bow, that's the top, that's the bottom. So you'll have your limb bolts, and it's just a bolt, a pre-sunk thing, and then into a washer. Line up here, put in the screw. Pretty simple. You never wanna, you, you just wanna snug them down. You don't wanna torque on them, you just want to get it to where you don't have to, you just pop it down like that, and you're done. Don't over tighten the limbs. Now let's do the top limb. And again, just snug it tight. You don't need to go too tight. You just snug it and you're done. Now I'm going to string it up. Whenever you get your string, there's going to be a bigger loop and a smaller loop. The smaller loop goes over the bottom and the bigger loop goes over the top. Here is the stringer it came with. You take the big flat end and you come over the side. You come over the side that you put the string knock into and you'll slide that up in like that with the string at the bottom, with the string at the bottom. And then you come here to the top side. This one's a little funky but you take I guess you take this end goes down on the bottom of it like that you want to get this as close to the string as you can possible you want to step in it like this get your feet wide get that over there and then pull up on the bow get the string set in place and then let it down. That is a strung bow. So that there is a strung bow with the elevated wrist. It's only 35 pounds. I just wanted something light. It's saying it's a 56 inch bow and it said 58 online. So that's kind of weird. It's kind of the riser I like. It's a short riser with longer limbs, which of course these limbs aren't very long because they're only uh, 56 inches. So far so good. And let me check the brace height. And you measure brace height from the bow the strength to the deepest part of the handle. So that would be right there. Brace height would be about seven and a half inches, which seems like it would be right. I don't have anything to test. I probably could test the poundage, but I can tell you right off that it's probably pretty close. The only problem with bows like these, which as you can see, the limb's not really tapered. It doesn't really taper. It tapers right to end, so that'll slow a bow down. This thing was $70, which is extremely cheap for a bow, especially for it to be made out of whatever that is. It feels pretty good so far, so I guess the only thing left to do is let's go shoot it, and I'll even bring along the cheap steros that I reviewed in last videos if you want to go check that out. Welcome to Virginia to where last week 
it was snowing whenever I was doing the cheapest aero review which I will add a card up in the corner of the screen and you can check out the review on these I'm kind of excited to shoot this thing it feels really good and it was 70 bucks I was kind of scared honestly this kind of riser fits me and this kind of grip fits the way I like to hold the bow it says 56 inches online it did say 58 let's stop rambling and put a shot through it This sucker is loud, son. Well, that's kind of wanting to walk up the string, so I'm just gonna shoot split finger. Honestly, it's not shooting bad. There's not a lot of hand shock. Arrows aren't flying straight, but that's a, that's a mismatch problem. Well, we've encountered our first problem. I don't know if you can see that there. But that is now that is now broken so looks like I'm gonna be shooting off the shelf after all I just went and took the elevated rest off of it I'll just shoot it across the shelf it won't hurt it since it's metal and I put a knocking set on it I put it about an eighth of an inch from center usually that's what I always seem to do just watch this this bow has a lot of vibration. I don't know if you can see it wiggling, but if I just smack it, that thing is, it's got a lot of vibration in it. Um, and it's, it's extremely loud. But let's take some more shots. It doesn't feel too bad to shoot, and it doesn't have a lot of hand shock, but it's also got this rubber coated grip on it that I'm guessing you can take off because there's two bolts that run in the middle of it. I really don't know how I feel yet. It's extremely, extremely loud, and it vibrates a lot, but there's not a lot of hand shock to it. Now, a heavier poundage might be a little bit different and might cause a little bit more hand shock, I'm not sure. But so far, not too bad. And I mean, take in again, it was 70 bucks. I mean, literally only $70. I'm gonna go grab those arrows. I'm gonna keep shooting and see if I can figure out a conclusive answer. I went ahead and put about a hundred more shots through it. Don't buy it, it's not worth it. Luckily, Amazon takes returns. Um, there's other bows that you could spend an extra 40 to $50 on and they shoot a lot better. Vibration of this one, you'd be so hard to dim that much down. I was really had high hopes because that's the riser style that I really like. Sadly, it just didn't live up to expectations. For $70, I kind of kind of figured that would be the answer. But anyways, um, I'll put links to other bows that are just a little over 100 that would be a lot better option and that already have good reviews. And uh, I've also shot the Samick Sage before, so I know it's a decent bow. But anyways, thanks for watching and keep on feeling spirit.